Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So guys, I got some string tension news for you. Um, Coach Chris just came into me and said, string my crosses four pounds less. I'm like, what? All right, well, let's see what happens. Stay tuned. So Coach Chris just ran in here and said, can you string my racket four pounds looser on the cross than on the mains? So his normal tension is like pretty much straight up 52 pounds. So he said, do it at 52 on the main and 48 on the cross. So in my own personal theory, right, I like pretty much even tension all around. Therefore, I don't like to mess around with um, changing cross tension versus changing main tensions, you know, more than two pounds. Um, a four pound difference would actually, um, especially on the main, would actually shorten the racket, you know, in my opinion. And I've seen that done before. It'll actually compress the racket down a bit more. So the head would be, you know, like, like for instance, this clash would be rounder instead of oval. So I was like, what's the theory behind this, Coach Chris? He's like, well, here, listen to the guy who asked me to do this. So it was one of his buddies from Europe who's a coach, and he said, try this, and you'll get more power and spin from it. And he, he's basically saying it has nothing to do with the strings that much but it's what the strings are doing to the structure of the racket so in his theory every racket is supposed to bend a certain way so it's meant to have constant tension all around you know let's say 52 all around therefore causing the racket to flex and bend um, at a certain point but when you go four pounds tighter on the main, you're compressing it more on this side, and therefore you're altering how the racket bends and flexes, uh, giving you more power, is what his theory was, um, and more feel. So he's out there playing with the racket already because he kind of ran in and, and did it. But I want to do it to this clash, uh, one of my clashes that I didn't um, spec out uh, with my confidential string and do it at 48 pounds on the main and 44 pounds on the cross to see if it alters anything. So I'm going to get stringing and then we'll see you on the court. All right, guys, so we're on the court. My man, Coach Chris, here with me. He's been playing with it for like an hour or two already because he really wanted to try out this technology or this unique string pattern that may not be unique to you guys, but to us, yes. Okay, so we're gonna go out and hit with a little bit and get right back to you. All right, so we just stepped off the court after trying the different tension. Um, Coach Chris, you've been hitting with it for about two hours now. Uh, what did you think of that? So right off the bat, I felt like um, I felt like playing like as I was hitting. I felt the mains more than the crosses, and uh, as I was striking a few more balls, 
uh, the power was, uh, I felt like, there. So, like, it was able to, like, really um, pop as I was hitting. Um, I had it at 5450. Uh, and when I was playing, I definitely, again, I was definitely feeling the main, the strings on the mains more than the crosses. Um, I really felt like I got more effortless power as I was, as I was swinging through it. And that's one of the changes, uh, and that's one of the reasons why I decided to go and try out that string pattern just to see if I can get a little bit more pop onto my shots. And, and, and right off the bat, yeah, I felt it, and I really enjoyed playing with that string pattern. Um, so that's something that I'll definitely keep go maybe going back to. Uh, and also maybe another string pattern, but stay tuned for that one. Just a quick clarification. I actually did it at 52.48. Maybe the old man's hard of hearing or something, but 52 is usually his tension. So I did it at 52.48, not 54.50, okay? So coach, what prompted this change? Um, like I, I you, you you basically let me hear that guy's voicemail to you. Mm -hmm. um, how did he explain it to you as to what the benefit of um, in doing this? So in terms of um, the strings and the racket itself, so in modern day tennis rackets, the, the uh, racket frame is more of an oval, right? More of a, this hoop shaped versus rackets back in the day were a bit more circular. And so the reasoning behind this tension more on the crosses and less uh, sorry more on the mains and less on the crosses is so that it doesn't constrict the frame so it allows the frame to actually you know um, uh, play how it is from when you're stringing it so the, te the tension on the crosses going across from this way right uh, is shorter so therefore if you're tensioning it more here right to the side you're actually constricting the frame a lot more and so the reasoning behind that is again right we don't want to deform uh, the shape of the racket as you hit and that affects kind of the strike zone overall too as well and you know the um, playing um, on the court so that's one of the th major reasons why uh, we strung it like that but, but what you're saying is opposite of what you're what we're doing though we're going tighter here and looser here mm -hmm. therefore we are actually altering the shape mm -hmm. of the racket. He was saying that being this way, right, keeping that tension, right, so normally, so say if it's 52, right, keeping that tension here, the, the tension across here is tighter. It's looser. He's saying, right, it's looser, uh -huh. but he's saying that because normally you go 52, 52, uh -huh. the 52 tension compresses it more, so you actually need to, because it's, it's a the distance, oh, I got it. The distance here. The distance apart is so the distance apart is shorter. Correct. Therefore, you go looser tension. Yes. It's farther, so you, you tighten, tighten up tighten the tension. It. Correct. So I you're actually it. making the form of the racket not warped. So you're actually matching it to how this, this you're supposed to the spec of, of the of the frame itself. Got it. So because these are longer lines or mm -hmm. longer distance, yes, we're going tighter. This is a shorter distance. Therefore, we're going looser. Yeah. So we're actually um, kind of stringing it to the the length of the racket, I guess, is how you can say it. Yeah, the length, especially length of to the, the strings, especially to these sides. Yes, exactly. So really factoring in the string, right? The short distance here versus the longer distance uh, across the uh, the frame of the racket. I got it. So I got to say that my clash here is a little rounder than it usually is. So it's being compressed a little more, right? Yeah. So it may deform the racket a little bit more. Right. Um, let's see if it's a little shorter. <clears throat> no, it's not shorter, is it? Sorry. It's not shorter right now. It's fine. Yeah. But. But it does look a little rounder than usual. To me. It is definitely yeah. yours. So you might maybe instead of uh, what was it, forty-eight? I did forty-eight forty-four. Instead of forty-eight forty-four, mm -hmm. maybe go forty-eight forty-six. Right. Right. To actually match the spec of the racket. Got it. So I personally, um, I felt a little more power from it. Not a whole lot. Um, I felt like it slung, you know, the sling of the the ball from these strings was just maybe a little bit more 
um, livelier, as maybe I can say, but um, it felt pretty normal to me. Maybe as I dive into it a little more and a little longer, I can feel it. But off the bat, um, I kind of just felt like I might have strung it at 44 instead of 46 or 48. So that's, that's kind of what I felt pretty much immediately. Um, but I mean, other than that, it, it, I mean, it felt okay. I mean, it was nothing wrong with it. I didn't felt like, feel like it was great. So, I mean, coach Chris knows more than me because since he's on tour, I've logged in more hours of tennis than this guy. <laughs> so I definitely felt it right off the bat. Like immediately, as soon as I was striking the first ball, like the ball was flying a lot more. So maybe it was, he plays with a lower tension. So because it is already at that low tension, maybe that ball is already, you know, flying too as well. Maybe if he had it at a tighter tension, he would definitely feel the ball popping a bit more, you know? Right, right. So. But definitely, if you're looking for a little more power, um, this would be the way to go. Absolutely. If, right. you, if you're interested in, you know, um, changing uh, kind of the tension of your, of your strings, this is actually a thought out way to do it, so. Yeah. Okay, so four pounds looser on the cross. Um, it doesn't matter what string you use, even if you use a hybrid. Just drop four pounds on the cross and uh, see if you like it, okay? Want to thank my man, Coach Chris, for hanging out with me today. Where can we find you, Coach Chris? You can find me at CB Chen, C-H-I-N, Tennis. All right, so thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.